I'll tell you who is on fire and makes you feel like the things are great in this economy. It's Lowe's. Today, they announced a major initiative offering opportunities for hundreds of diverse small businesses. Uh, it, it's going to be like a short tank. And we caught up with Lowe's CEO Marvin Ellison exclusively to discuss this and how businesses take a listen. You know that we've been committed to trying to help small businesses operate in this really difficult economic environment. We started out with $55 million in small business grants that we've been issuing out. And just to give you an update, we've had over 800,000 applicants for these grants since we initiated this program. And so the demand from this program led us to understand that there is a lot more that we should be doing. And so we came up with an idea to try to get more products on our shelves and on Lowe's.com that originate from diverse entrepreneurs. And we came up with this idea called Making It With Lowe's, where we're going to launch this virtual nationwide search for businesses or small businesses, entrepreneurs, to pitch to us products that we can sell online or in stores. And we're excited about creating the opportunity for the American dream for an entrepreneur to get their products in a mass marketplace to serve customers. Well, I think it's a, a great and noble idea. I think it also comes at a time when Lowe's is experiencing a remarkable turnaround. Your stock up about 38 percent for the year is the finest performing major retailer that anybody follows. And some of it is because I think that you had an inkling that a house is going to be functional and you pivoted Lowe's to be able to meet that demand. You, you, Jim, more so than any time in our life, the home is being reimagined. So today, the home is multi-purpose more so than ever. It's a work-from-home space. Uh, it's a homeschooling space, and it's a predominant space for entertainment and recreation. And, and we're just very fortunate and blessed at Lowe's that our business model will allow us to serve all three of those unique needs of our customers. And this has been a team effort. I mean, my management team has been incredibly focused on keeping our stores safe for our associates and our customers, but more importantly, trying to do our best to help the customers manage through this really difficult environment that COVID-19 has presented to all of us. Now, Marvin, one of the things that you discovered when you came in, I remember you telling me when you first came in is, geez, we're a little bit, a little bit behind in the Internet. And the other thing you said was that, you know what, we've kind of lost the pro who used to come into Lowe's. Uh, in a remarkably short time, you've been able to reverse that. How did you do it? Well, Jim, as we've discussed before, when it comes to solving big technology issues for large companies, you need a couple of things. You need time, you need capital, and you need talent. Uh, and, and we invested the time. We've been working on this for 18 months. We've invested a lot of capital, and I recruited some extremely talented individuals who've done this before. Just to remind you, we went from a decade-old platform with Lowe's.com, and we replatformed the entire site to the cloud. That enabled us to have a lot more agility and functionality at a time where customers made a massive shift to e-commerce and digital purchases. So we were right at the right moment in time to do that, and in the second quarter, our online business grew 135 percent, and that's on a, a big base. In addition to that, we understood that the essence of a home improvement business is the pro-customer, because they drive productivity in every department, every day of the week, and, and Lowe's was not really focused on that. And so we pivoted, and we've launched a loyalty program. We brought in products that better resonate with the pro, and we just recently announced that we're launching Tool Rental for Lowe's. And our data shows that 70 percent of pro customers use Tool Rental, and we were not in that business. And so we launched our first Tool Rental here in Charlotte. We're going to be expanding it nationwide over the next couple of years. And so we're going to be committed to serving that really, really important and very, and very influential customer while making sure that our e-commerce business continues to be something that customers think first about. And we're proud that we have one of the highest rated mobile apps in any retail environment today. And that took a lot of work, but I'm proud of the work that the team put in to make this a reality.